us now live. Kevin, congratulations uh, on everything. You, yeah, right? Now that you sit down and you get to take a deep breath, you, you, you told your mom when you're eight you're going to do this, you did this. Uh, what's the initial reaction to the fact that you're now a champion? Man, I don't even know, man. It just feels so good to be a part of this. And, you know, the work we put in, it doesn't go in vain. We just, we stayed quiet all year and just did our work. And, you know, as a group, we continue to believe in each other. And, you know, this is, uh, if this is the end product, man, this is, uh, this is amazing. I, I can't even, I can't even talk right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. We, we, I, I know you got a party to get to, but we got plenty of time for you to get your thoughts together, particularly uh, Kevin, because the path included LeBron James and Cleveland. Um, how, did, how does that magnify the satisfaction for you? Well, I mean, obviously everybody knows. I, I may not have said a lot, but LeBron is the guy I always wanted to compete against in the finals. And, you know, after doing it in 2012, it was so much fun. I wanted to do it again. And he's just the ultimate competitor, man. I got nothing but respect for him, Kyrie Irving, and the rest of the Cavs. You know, they're, they're champions. They're always going to be champions. And, you know, they challenged us. You know, I couldn't even sleep last night. So it makes it even better that we came out here and got a W and played well in front of our home crowd. And, man, I just can't wait to celebrate with the team for the rest of the night and, you know, for the rest of the summer, I guess. I appreciate that those moments between great players belong to the two of you, and yet I'm not doing my job if I don't at least try to get a sense of what message is shared in that moment. I mean, whatever you could or would choose to share, what's said there from him to you? Well, I just, well, I just told him... Uh, he told me congrats. I told him I appreciate it. You know, he said we got to do it again. You know, we got to meet up again. And, you know, obviously that's going to be extremely hard next season. But right now I'm going to enjoy it. It was great going up against him, somebody I always admired, somebody I always wanted to be better than. And I strive to be better than every single day. And I'm sure that I push him as well. Um, but it's a great feeling. You know, it's my, it's my first one. He has three. Uh, I definitely, definitely want to try to pass him. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this first one. Last year's disappointment belonged to the guys on your team. You, you weren't part of that group. And yet, I wonder, can you adopt a little bit of that pain and, and become part of the mission to right last year's wrong? Well, it's a little different. I mean, of course, they want, you know, the rest of the guys that played on the team last year wanted to redeem themselves. I wanted to compete against, you know, at the highest level against LeBron James. And, you know, so we all had our motivations to win, but it was a little different for everybody. And it feels good to be a part of it. You know, everybody was hungry from day one, came in and worked extremely hard. Our coaching staff uh, has been amazing. Our ownership has been amazing. And, you know, we're going to move forward from here, man, and enjoy this one and next season get back to work. As you're out there, you said you couldn't sleep last night. It, 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 for moments there, it feels like you're going to do what you do, which is just bury them. And then all of a sudden you look up and it's a four-point game. What, what did you, how much respect, I guess, is what I'm getting at about what Cleveland demanded of you to win this fourth game? Well, it was not easy at all. You know, they, every time we had a lead, it felt like they were cutting it down. You yep. know, J.R. Smith came alive in the last uh, three games. And, you know, that was a big, big boost for those. Kyrie Irving is, um, I've never seen such skill in one player before. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty ridiculous what he can do with the basketball. And LeBron James, you know exactly what he does. And so we knew that we had to be on alert every possession, you know, with Kyle Korver out there and Richard Jefferson playing. Like he's 20 years old. And, you know, Kevin Love shooting the ball well. Tristan Thompson came alive. So we knew we had our work cut out for us, but we knew that if we continued to be ourselves, that we had a good chance to win. And we just grinded through and, and stayed mentally tough. And we're champions now. From the DMV to Texas to Seattle to OKC to Golden State, now to the mountaintop, you can you, you can see the view. And where does where does basketball take you now? Where, where what what hill is there to climb, Kevin? Uh, I just go back to the gym and go back to the drawing board and see how I can get better. Um, you know, how long, I can, how I'm just long will you stay out of the gym? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I know that you're a gym rat. I know if there's a game you want to find it. How long will you give yourself before you're back in there pounding the rock? Who knows? I, I don't even know. I'm sure <laughs> when I go back home to PG County. My boy Kwame Morgan and, and my boys Danny back at home are going to try to get me to play pickup as soon as I get back. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but for the most part, I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, but I know that I always got to continue to keep getting better, man. But this is an amazing feeling. You told your mom when you were eight you wanted to do it, and you told her on the floor tonight, we did it. And when you have time to, to sit down and, and just reflect on this together with her, what, what role has she played in helping get you from there to here? Well, she stayed on me from day one. 
You know, she didn't let me quit. Sometimes she went overboard. Sometimes we got into <laughs> it <laughs> yeah. because she, she went overboard. But I, I appreciate it now, and it's good to celebrate with her, you know, because she's seen me. She's seen me grind from the bottom and continue to keep working up and um, been with me every step of the way, been my biggest fan and my biggest critic. And, you know, I owe a lot to her and I owe a lot to my family, my friends, and, you know, so many people that have pushed me and prayed for me over the, over, over the years. And, you know, I'm just so emotional because I know so many people pray for this moment for me and I appreciate you guys. If you're watching, thank you so much for just believing in me. And, man, this feels amazing. I just have one last quick thought, and I appreciate your patience with me here, Kevin. Uh, I, I doubt she'll sleep tonight because people never do when they win. But whenever you rest and you, you, you go to bed or whatever and you wake up and you look in the mirror, what, what, if anything, will you allow yourself to see different in who you are now that you've done this? Nothing. Uh, nothing at all. Like I said before, this doesn't complete me. I already knew who I was before this even happened. I'm going to continue to be the person I was yesterday. And um, that's the most important thing, you know, just because I, I won a championship doesn't change anything about me. I continue to work hard, continue to love people, uh, and continue to appreciate every, every single step, every single moment. And, but to be a champion while doing it is even more better, even better. So, you know, like I said, thanks to everybody who prayed for me, who, who, who sent me texts, and, and who, which I ain't checking my phone, but I got 100 texts, I'm sure, and I appreciate <laughs> you guys, man. I'm just going to enjoy this one tonight. Right on, and I can hear the party going, so please go enjoy. Yeah. Those goggles are made for a party, not sitting here with me. I really appreciate the time, Kevin. Yeah, Thanks man. so much. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Leave me alone. I got to go party. <laughs> yeah, go do your thing. Kevin Durant, the MVP.